highlight tonight the Border Television News Summary. A man has appeared in court at Douglas Isle of Man today, charged with possessing a firearm with intent to endanger life at the Palace Lido Disco. Apprentice engineer Michael Brennan, who is 19, is alleged to have had the loaded shotgun in the disco in the early hours of yesterday morning. Brennan was remanded in custody for a week. Staff at the closure threatened Whitehaven Hospital are meeting tomorrow to discuss a set of proposals from management about the future of the hospital. The 90 patients are being moved because the building is a fire hazard. West Cumbrian health officials have confirmed that plutonium tests are being carried out on stillborn babies and on local children who die from accident or illness. The research has been going on for two months and comes in the wake of Sir Douglas Black's inquiry into child cancer levels near the Sellafield nuclear plant. And a leading Irish MP has claimed the Republic's government could have grounds for taking British nuclear fuels to the European Court of Human Rights. Opposition Environment spokesman Jerry Brady says the long-term effects of Sellafield radiation discharges are a threat to future generations on the other side of the Irish Sea. Carlisle Tories have named the man they hope will win the city's parliamentary seat from Labour at the next general election. He's 47-year-old Bill Hodgson, a farmer and wine merchant from New Galloway in Scotland. Cumbria's latest luxury hotel is about to open at Penrith. It'll mean 60 new jobs for the county. Shire Inns Limited plan to have the North Lakes Gateway Hotel ready for business by October, but recruitment of staff has already started. Villagers in Gamblesby near Penrith fear they could lose their only community asset, the village hall. Since the local pub closed last year, the hall has been the only meeting place in the area. But now Cumbria County Council wants to increase the rent from £1 a year plus rates and expenses to over £1,700 a year. Police in southwest Scotland are appealing for witnesses to a fatal road accident near Stranra. 33-year-old Isabel Creevy died and four other members of her family were injured when a Datsun car and a pickup collided at Sandhead yesterday. Coast Guards in Dumfries and Galloway have issued a warning about the dangers of using small inflatable dinghies in the Solway. It follows an incident yesterday in which two children aged 10 and 6 got into difficulties off Rough Island near Kipford. The local inshore rescue boat was called out but a canoeist managed to bring them ashore. Soccer and Workington Reds had a good result in their preparation for the new season this evening when they held 3rd Division Bolton Wanderers to a goalless draw. A look at tomorrow's weather now. There will be scattered showers throughout the region, some of them heavy. South of the border there may be some sunny intervals, but temperatures will stay near normal at about 19 degrees centigrade. That's 66 degrees Fahrenheit. Noticeably cooler in the borders in Dumfries and Galloway. Winds will be northerly, light to moderate. Wednesday and Thursday we'll see much the same mixture, showers and sunny intervals. Well, that's all the news and weather we've got time for this evening, and that brings our programmes for this Monday evening here on Border to a close for tonight. I hope you've enjoyed them, and thanks very much for staying with us. We will, of course, be back at 9.25 in the morning, and regardless of what the weather brings us, Clive Champney will be here with a bit of sunshine, and I'm sure he'll be extremely happy if you care to join him at 9.25, or in fact, just any time after that. Until then, from all of us here at Border, and from me, Colin Lamont, may I wish you a safe and peaceful good night, and I do hope you sleep well. I'll leave you with a final look at the clock now. There we are. It's just approaching four minutes to midnight. Good night, all, and I do hope you sleep well. <laughs>